It certainly has been an active couple of weeks across here as far as showers and thunderstorms. And it looks like that will continue into the uh, next week as well. Now, you may be wondering why is this happening? Well, in fact, basically a semi-permanent pattern across the area with two weather systems. And a very strong reach of high pressure here across portions of the central portions of the U.S. at record heat across many of these areas over the past uh, last week. And a semi-permanent low here across areas to the west of us. Now, rotation around high pressure is clockwise like this. And it's counterclockwise around the uh, low here. Now, when these two areas come together, it's like a conveyor belt, basically. This is the belt. It's not moving product here. It's moving moisture. And the way the circulation is, it's pulling it right out of the Gulf of Mexico, moving it right up into Wyoming. Now, we're basically in the nip point of this where you get the heavy rain. Now, you don't want to stick your hand in that. If it's a real conveyor, it would really ruin your day. It'd flatten your hand, probably. It'd be an OSHA violation as well. But back to the weather here, you can see the nip point is where the heavy rain is going to be. And we'll be in that portions of the weekend. We'll start by taking a look at today. Had a slight chance of some severe thunderstorms here across the far west. This will be the least of our worries, I think. Main threat's going to be heavy rain. i got my clicker to work. There we go. You can see most of the areas under a uh, marginal risk of heavy rain. You can see this area right in here is a slight risk. the higher chance of seeing that. Now, that circulation, remember, we have a southeast flow. We have the Azorcas here, also the Wind River Range. And when it comes in here, upslopes and drops out more rain. So this will be the threat of the heaviest rain. But that's about anybody can see a heavy rain with a shower or thunderstorm. Now, we head toward tomorrow. Really, I got new batteries for this thing. Anyway, you can see this is day two. You can see, uh, again, the higher risk around the Cody area with the upslope areas. Now, I want you to notice down in here, the low will be shifting a little north. They'll move that heavier moisture up to the north and east a little bit. So, southern areas of Wyoming could be drying out a little bit. Just about everybody else will have a slight chance of uh, seeing some heavy rain. And as far as thunderstorms, what that dry air coming in could provide a licking, lifting mechanism as well. So, it could enhance the chance of some stronger thunderstorms. Across the northern portion of the state, basically Yellowstone toward Cody, Grable over toward the Buffalo area, and on areas onto the north. The best chance of this will be up in Montana, though. Now, as we head toward Friday, it gets a little bit better on this day. You can see, uh, looks like some dry air might punch in. We'll still be a couple of showers and thunderstorms, but if you want to do something outside over these next five days, this will be the best day to do it. Looks like a driest day across the area. As we head toward Saturday, looks like it sinks a little bit further to the south. The moisture comes back in, especially eastern portions of the area. West of the divide might not be that bad. Then we head toward uh, Sunday. There's a whole area covering that marginal risk again. So there will be numerous showers and thunderstorms across the area. You're not going to see, it's not going to rain all the time, but many areas should have a chance of one on just about any given day, except for maybe Friday, across the southern portion of our area. So the average rainfall we expect over the next five days. Now keep in mind, these are higher amounts for the slow moving thunderstorms. Above. This is an average. It's very difficult to pinpoint where thunderstorms are going to be. So this is an average. You can see with that southeast flow, the upslope, most favorite areas for that, the Lander area, Wind River Range, maybe over an inch, inch and a half there. Also Cody, especially the west there, the Absorcas, maybe over an inch, inch and a half there. Also the Big Horns in the western part of the state, especially over here and the east slopes of the Salton Wyoming Range, could be locally a couple inches there. But it's not everybody could pick up a quarter to a half an inch at least over the next five days or so. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.